Welcome back to the Ibi Choice YouTube channel. Today we'll be learning how to make this beautiful talking drum sleeve. Okay, I achieved this sleeve using a scuba fabric. This is what you would like to learn. Kindly stay tuned to the end of the tutorial. Thank you. I'm using scuba fabric, but you can use any other fabric of your choice that you wish to use. Ankara, dolphins, lace, whatever it is that you want to use, you can use it. So there are several types of drum sleeve. There is this one that stands just like this as you can see it will keep standing like this like that till it's finished and there are some that just lays like this so i'm just going to be explaining how to make those two types of drum sleeve okay so for the first one you need to be working with intervals so for this i'm working with a fabric of around 60 inches long scuba is by 60 so i'm using this length this for the length and the width of this fabric that's how tall each of my strand will be is around 12 inches because this is what i want it can be shorter this one that i showed us is around six inches or six and a half inches and it's still lovely okay so this is six and a half inches so you can use whatever length that pleases you okay so to do this let's just jump right into the tutorial like i said we'll be working with intervals so i'm using a scuba fabric so i'll not be lining it but i'm working with a lace or a fabric like a carry that is not so strong like that like as you can see now this one is doubled this is a lace fabric and i lined it with a satin no this is not satin this is i think taffeta okay so i lined it with taffeta like this before i started doing my measurements so if you are not working with scuba you will need to cut two of this fabric that you are doing and then you sew them to use them to turn each other before you start your markings okay so i'm working with scuba i'm not be turning it i'm not lining it i'm just doing my markings just like that so the first thing i'm going to do now is to measure like one inch which is the part i'm going to use to attach this leaf to my bodies okay so i'm going to measure one inch like this and then i'll make it into a straight line so after measuring one inch i need to determine how wide i want each of each strand of the fabric this is what i mean so you see the fabric just keep coming like this so I need to measure how high I want this one. For instance, in this case, this is around one inch. So if one inch is okay for you, it's fine. If one and a half is okay for you, it's fine. So whatever height that you wish to use, it means you have to double it. For example, if you, if you wish to use one inch, it means you are going to be measuring two inches. If you wish to use one and a half inches, it means you are going to be measuring three inches. This is because let's say i'm measuring three inches like this and i make this into a straight line to form that drum sleeve i'll need to take this one inch from this interval to this interval i need to take them fold them into two like this which will go back to one and a half inches like i said and then on this mark that i on this line that i marked i'm going to sew it like that so after sewing it it's going to stand like this for me okay so if i'm working with three inches the interval that i want between each of my drum sleeve is around half inch so i'll mark half inch like this and then i'll make my half inch into a straight line also you can work with half inch you can work with one inch depending on what you want after your half inch i'll take my tape rule again and mark my three inches and then make it into a straight line again and then I'll, the interval that I want between it is half inch so I'll mark that half inch again and then make it also into a straight line then after this I'll mark my 3 inches again I hope you follow what I'm trying to do so that is how you keep marking it till you get to the end of your fabric so if you finish and your fabric is not enough you can actually join to this this is just by 60 so that's i'm working with what i have so now i'll take this to the machine now so that i'll sew it and then we'll see what it looks like okay so i've gone ahead to sew one of the three inches by just folding the three inches over and then i followed my marking so now 
I'm going to leave the half inch interval that we have and then I have another three inches so what I'm going to do now is to take the three inches together again and then sew it the same way I sew this one okay so I've sewn three of this now and you can see what we have this is how it's going to continue standing till we finish it and then we'll have something like what I showed us we'll have something like this okay but because this is scuba and you know scuba fabric is quite thick you can see how it's just standing on its own and it's really beautiful but like I said we have two types of drumstick so the second type is very similar to this but the only difference is that instead of standing the second one just fold over like this so the same way we did for the first one I'm going to rule my starting point which is one inch one inch sorry so after ruling the one inch I'll also decide how wide I want it to be so if I want it to be one inch tall one inch wide it means I'll I'll mark two inches okay but in, the, in this case like I said the difference is that in this case our instead of standing like this it will be folding falling over the next one so the next measurement and you know the two inches that i marked it i'm going to fold this like this and by the time i fold it it will go back to one inch okay so instead of the five inches interval that i have here i'm going to mark one inch here okay so if i mark my one inch now and i make it into a straight line the next one i'm going to mark is two inches and then the next one will be one inch and i'll also continue like that i hope you understand this so the next one will be one inch and then i'm going to continue like that so the one inch i'm marking as interval will be the same measurement i will have by the time i sew my two inches together and it's going to be resting on the one inch like this so the next two inches will rest on the one inch you can see it's resting and i will brace it here so it now depends on what you want i can decide to sew it completely like i did for this i can decide to sew it completely like this before i place it on the one inch to rest or i can leave it for it to be flying like this but i prefer to sew it so i'll take it to the same machine now sew it sew everything at interval and then i'll bring it back to show us when i brace it at the midpoint okay so now i'm gonna have to sew this now i remember i said i'll leave one inch which is the same height that i have here so that it can have space to rest like this so this is a scuba fabric and the scuba fabric is always standing so it may not it may not sleep really well but if you are using like a tire fabric you can even iron it instead of just sewing it i had to sew this completely because i'm working with scuba and if i don't sew it it will just scatter everywhere okay this is the one i intend to show us the standing one but i just thought to show us how to make that so that if we see it anywhere we will not be confused so after sewing it like this and you leave the same interval as this as your height so on the midpoint here you just arrange it with your fingers like this with this lying flat and then you brace it with a stitch round like this okay so that is how you do that but just also to show us the main one we are doing is this type which will stand and also you can also leave the same interval for the ones that is standing it will just be like this okay so whichever one it is that you prefer the one that will be close together like this or the ones that will have spaces in between like this whichever one you want is fine but i'm choosing this and i'll complete this now and then take it to the mannequin so that we'll see what it looks like okay so i've completely filled it up like this and remember i don't have any space in between because i used an interval of half inch and a height of one and a half inches okay so if you're the type that just wants to be seeing this middle interval what you just need to do is to increase your interval from half inch you can use one inch and then you can also reduce your height from maybe one and a half inch to one inch also so this is what we have now and i like the effect it's giving me okay so by the time i put it on fold i'll have something like this so now to attach this to my fabric i'll just cut a long strip of 
a short strip of fabric of around maybe two or two and a half inches by two inches and then on this one inch that i left when i started at the midpoint i'm going to sew it together following the same line that i have and then i'll do the same thing on the other side and that is what i'll use to attach it to my already made half shoulder bodies okay so now i've attached it to it now so i have this to use to attach this to my sleeve so now i moved over to my mannequin now but you can see how lovely this drum sleeve is it's very simple and fluffy and make using a scuba fabric just make it easier for me because scuba just stands out on its own okay so this is what our sleeve look like on the mannequin and this is the small space you use to attach it to your off shoulder like i said mine is i just pinned this with the mannequin and you can see how beautiful and tall this is looking if you don't want it as high as this i used 12 inches for this you may use like six or seven inches like i said and i like the interval i like the outcome it gave me okay so this is what the sleeve is looking like and it's really beautiful so if you enjoyed this tutorial let us know in the comment section see you in the next one bye